Good evening, everybody. Hello. How are you? Have you had a nice day, a nice week? A nice 15 days of September. I'll get onto Discord in a minute. I think that's where the party's at tonight. Click a few buttons. Well, I've got four of you. Hello, four of you. Welcome. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello, hello. It's great to see you. Or not. Let's get me bits sorted. Stub my ear in. Tuesday evening. Oh, the gang's all here, I see. Nick, hello, stranger. Nice to have you back with us. Oh, oh, uh, what, what, what was? Oh. I oh, can do that any time. I'm not going to go bankrupt over a fiver. Blimey, eh? I might go bankrupt over other things at the moment, but not, not, not over a fiver. No, not with your little baby. Oh, I'll just woggle the camera about. Oh, I've had to order some more pumpkin tea light holders. They've sold out. Well, yeah, I, I, I wasn't expecting. I've, we've had our Christmas delivery in already, but um, I'm, I'm trying to get prepared just in case society changes over the next month or two. Oh, that's all right. You bought it. I didn't give it you. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, well, that's all right. Hello, Chris. Well, hopefully, oh, oh, what we, oh, Nick. <clears throat> That's usually a good sign, though, Nick. Well, even so, you could. But let's just say you got all of those twelve wrong. That's still seventy-five percent. If you got the others right, isn't it? Ish. That's the thing with exams. You you just don't know. I I I hate exams. I hated them, and I, as as working in the education system, I hated giving them because. Unless they were really naughty, because you could do that. You could punish with general knowledge tests back when I was teaching, and it was quite fun. Especially to year six who thought they knew it all, and I said that to them once. Right, you think you know it all. Let's let's have a quiz. I might, uh, oh, so did my dad. He missed the middle of the out of the White House. He got moved down a set. When you're writing quick, it's easily done with names. Just take a close look. I think this is everybody this evening. There's nice four of you. So we've got Nick, Rosemary, Christine and Sandra. 
I do know who you are really, Sandra. I'm just tired. So there's our little hedgehog. Yeah, I've just um, had a notification to say that my screen is off. See, you're lucky. I can't refresh. If I refresh, I lose the whole um, thing. And you beat me to it, Nick. I was just, I was just logging onto the laptop um, Discord, and then I thought she's already in the group. What, what, what's going on? And then I saw your comment. Yeah, no, I was. I mean, that's what I was doing. I was trying to add you. I was trying to add you to it, but Nick had already done it. He is, he's speedy. It's because he's got like 32 screens, that's why. Oh. Uh. See, that's the trouble when you do swish. Right, so. Have I got everybody? Yes, I've got all four of you, that's good. Um. So this is a, a cute little angel. Jackie chose this picture. I sent her six, and I, I often do it, and I'll just say, choose one. And uh, she chose this one today, so it's her fault, by the way. Um, but it'd be nice for this week and next. Um, just to do something. I do like hedgehogs. They are cute. I nearly did one just of the sort of like the head and part of the body, but I thought, no, let's do a whole one. And um, let's see how we get on. So I'll be doing mainly my Karen Dash HB, which is the equivalent of your 2B. You will need an embossing tool, possibly. And can you find it this week, Nick? Good. Have you missed the classes, Nick? Oh. Oh, stop being creeps, you lot. Give it a rest. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I bet it is. Oh, all, all creatures great and small's on today. I'll be watching it on catch up. Well, I won't. I'll be watching it recorded. I'll probably, I'll, I don't know if I'll watch it. I normally fall asleep when I get back. I get home, put something on the telly, and then I fall asleep, and then wake up at midnight and get really annoyed at myself. Why didn't I go to bed if I was that tired? You forget that as an adult, don't you? Because as a child, you don't, you you force going to bed. You know, I don't want to go to bed. I'll stay awake. I'll stay awake. But as an adult, you have got that lovely privilege that if you do feel tired, you can go to bed whenever you like. You can have cornflakes for pudding. You can have cornflakes for supper. It doesn't really matter. And you forget. I'm not doing anything. That's why. Yeah, sometimes I just, it's just my pose. I've moved it now. Have I frozen? Am I Olaf again? No, my hand's definitely not on the mouse. I've just done a little wave and now my hand's on the mouse again. Frozen. No, I haven't. I was just saying frozen. We'll start to sketch then as it's ten past, but we'll let you two get unfrozen. We'll let you two thaw. You'll just be able to see my part of my arm. Yeah, I can't sit still, ever. Even when I'm asleep. Jackie can. Jackie's been a model for a lot of my classes on, on figure drawing. Obviously clothed. <laughs> but she can she can stand still for like 15 minutes or, or sit still. Absolutely still. You just wouldn't... Well, apart... Yeah, but you can't see that with her clothes and stuff. And, and from a distance, when you've got 20 people sketching her... She's just absolutely stationary. It's amazing. I can't, I scratch my nose and then my head itches, so I have to scratch my head. Then my ankle hurts, so then I whittle my ankle. And 
I'm, I'm not really good. Mm-hmm. Right, so, 2B aloft. Hello? That's all right. Hello? Okay, so I'm going to draw an egg, a big egg, wider at the back end on the left hand side. It's probably bigger than my hand, wide. Now I can't do it too dark because otherwise I won't be able to get rid of these lines, but equally you need to be able to see. So we've got a bit of an egg, sort of an oval, doesn't have to be an egg. I mean today it's basically an egg in a party hat, to be honest, that's fallen over. Hedgehogs are cute. I love one of those things. A squeg. Which end is pointy? Oh, no, we don't, we don't want to... You could get away with the point on the right-hand side or the lower left, but um, not, not, not the upper left. Defo, no. Um, so we're going to go in with a triangle. Let's... Ooh, almost four fingers wide. What was that? There was a there was a cartoon advert with two hedgehogs crossing the road, wasn't there? King of the road. Yeah. It was the road safety hedgehogs, and this just reminded me of it because they're drawn exactly like this. So we must be doing something right. Maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've already drawn the triangle. You're way behind me. I'm from the future. Wow, that's a delay. Mind you, I'm only I'm not seeing my own delay today, because um, I'm um, I'm on the the uh, recording software screen today. Ah, oh, the penguin. I like a penguin. Right. So what I'm going to do is level with his bottom of his nose. I'm going to sort of bring a bit of a triangle down on the left hand side and so sort of like sharpen that up a little. Yeah, we had Sarah join us yesterday, Nick. It was nice. So we're getting lots of people dipping in, which is lovely. Now we are going to have to cheat a little. Well, sort of level with the bottom of his nose, where his nose is going to be. Because we're going to round that up. So it's sort of like the width of your finger. Because don't forget, everything is all relative. Well, that's alright. He's, he's had a lot of worms if he's a bit fat. But we, we, it'll be tweaked. It'll all be tweaked. Because this bit here isn't going to be here. The the sort of right hand side cheek if you like. Um, now if I come in a fraction. Just a fraction going up. Almost a pencil width at its widest at the top. So it looks a little bit like a badger hedgehog now. A hedger. A hedger or a badger. A badgehog. A bad jog. Um, and the reason is, is because the nose, the eyes, and the ears are all on 
the same line. They've got big ears actually. Yeah, I've got a little badge hog. I'm still drawing the eyes, so that's good. Maybe we've caught up a little bit. Oh gosh, now I'm back on the eyes again then. <clears throat> They're about mm, a thumb, a, a bit of a thumb. I think mine needs to come down a fraction. And I think I need his ears down a little bit, actually. I've done his ears too high. It's about a thumb and a thumb and a thumb. That's better. That's better. I thought it was a bit high up in relation to the rest of him. Let me rub out all these lines I don't need now. Let's see if it looks anything like a hedgehog. Hmm. Well, it's, it's, it's not even a shape yet. I mean, it, it, it shouldn't look like a hedgehog yet, really, because we've not actually drawn anything. No, you might have finished. Speed Demon, but I haven't. They are. And he's got a slight twist in his nose. But I might straighten it out. I might give him a bit of surgery. Because that, sort of, that cheek sort of comes around there. But I don't know if that needs to come out a little bit more to that ear. that here and then that comes around there so let me get rid of let me get rid of this curve now okay that's okay mm -hmm. maybe maybe we get in somewhere and then there's a bit of a wonky line like that I think my eyes need to be closer together they do okay right that's what that's where i've gone wrong see even creative professionals such as myself go wrong yes and that's that, that, that's what i'm doing what i i tell you all off for doing i've twisted his face further round instead of um it's that twisted nose that's thrown me you see Yes, I've got rid of any lines that I didn't want. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to get rid of any lines that I don't think is useful that would possibly um, distract. his nose is actually that the, the like the, the wet snout is wider than the pointy bit really so it's uh, it's quite interesting to see but I think I need that eye needs to be a bit smaller it's 
it is we, we look we're not looking at it face on the left eye as we look at it is is more side on but once we've got this you see then then we can I think I th you see mine was too wide my triangle but now now I've I've yeah now I've sort of got roughly that thumb width um so there's a thumb width from the nose to the bottom of the eyes there's a thumb width from the top of the eyes to the bottom of the ears and the eyes are about a thumb width apart for me and that seems to um be making a little bit of sense because this is a drawing so you know it's good to plan it out what's that line there what did I draw that line there for Almost, yeah, it's like a little hazy bit that we can just about make out. Cool. A badger. Badger and an Ailey hog, an Ailey hog. Or a Hedgian. How's yours going, Chris? They're describing some really obscure things here. You're, you're safer on the other side of Facebook, I tell you. Because obviously we'll probably use these leaves to our advantage because we can see one leg for sure, can't we? We can see this little leg that's, where's that coming? Sort of there. And then there's a leaf there. Now obviously here there will be another leg and you can kind of just make it out. If I go to um, reference image. You can make it out just before it hits that big leaf and then they can make out a little bit. They have. I was shocked at how long and thin an owl's leg is. No, the, the the as we look at it, the left eye is slightly higher than the right eye. Slightly. Looking a bit of an opossum at the moment. I think I need to make his bottom a bit bigger. Oh, they're happy they are, little things. Well, sort of hedgehogish is good, Chris. That's better than the descriptions I'm getting in my ear. So, well done. think I think that is very they have got long legs Chris um, owls and head there we don't think about it though do we we just get an idea of what we think things look like in our head
Yeah, look, if you uh, if I go back to the reference image. Yeah, and the legs are about four fingers apart from the. Well, it's between his nose and his eye, isn't it? It's kind of slightly off, off middle towards the left hand side is of the leg. Well, I'm, I've abandoned the face for a minute in the hope that if I do the other things, it might actually look like what I'm aiming for. It's not working yet, but you know, it's all a, it's all a thing. The smaller you go, the harder it gets, don't forget. Okay. Oh, you know, I've had I've had my delivery of blank gnomes in. Yeah, so look what I did today. I've done me as a gnome. Because I, I carve extra bits into them and whatever because it just comes as a basic thing. So I carve different features and stuff and then colour them. I'm not I'm definitely keeping this face as it is. Thank you, Christine. I'm not going to have, I don't think I'm going to have a background either because we, we're not, I don't, I don't think we're going to get time. Although, although with everything, it's all, it's all a process, isn't it? Don't you think? Once the darks are in and once the this and once the that, it will be fine. You're very glad you joined the class today. Oh, good. Oh, phone started to go off then. I leant on it with my elbow. Just, you can always add more leaves, don't forget. That's the beauty. Leaves everywhere. Let's switch to camera two, because I want to see his... Oh, no, I can't see anything with that. I want to see his eyes a little bit more. Oh, I can do this with camera two, can't I? As long as I move it back. Camera two is the, the detail cam. There was um on the... On a Facebook group this morning, there were some teachers saying, um, arty teachers, who's doing online classes? What on earth camera do you use? And I said, ah, oh, I've been using these cameras for years. And they're amazing. Here's the link. I didn't actually give them the link. I'm not that nice. I just told them the name of the camera and showed them one of my videos. Because I can't help myself now. I'm famous. Right.
One of them said very good, and I thought, very good? Don't you know who I am? Good? Good? I haven't been good for 30 years. I'm amazing, darling. Right. Right. Thanks, thanks, Rosemary. Yours looks rubbish. Right, so... 7B. I'm going for a bit darker. I want to get his eyes in. Not that you can... Because I want to do his eyes. 7 or 8B, yeah. No. Nick, be, stop being naughty. No. <laughs> Christine, they're being horrible to me today. They really are. It's unbelievable. It's like I'm a supply teacher. I don't need knocking down a peg or two. I just need money. <laughs> oh, I wish. I mean, I did get paid for the advert. Well, I've only just got paid. I only just got paid for the social media advert from four months ago. You can always go darker later. That is very true. I'm just going to do the darker bit of his nose. While I've got this. Quite well. I need to unbadger him. <laughs> I'm quite good at badgering. But I need to unbadger. Oh, hang on a minute. Bodger and badger who likes mashed potatoes, yeah. Everywhere he goes, Bodger always knows. Badger, his badger friend is never far away. Badger and badger, badger and badger. La 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 la. My nephews like to used to like the llama song. Oh, it's not new. What stick, stick, sticky, stick, sticky, sticky, stick, stick? Yeah, that's from Doug. D D hey, Dougie. Yeah. See, see, see me who has no children. <laughs> Oh, stick, stick, sticky, stick, sticky, sticky, stick, stick. Oh, gosh, that's a really good way of making them hurry up. Oh, well, yeah. I like that person. Right, so I'm not... I'm, we've not embossed or anything yet. But I just want to... Work my way up because this is all going to be embossed. There's a lot of embossing tonight. Tonight, tonight, it's all embossed tonight. Let's work out the weird nose of a hedgehog. Yeah. I thought I might as well. Yeah, me, I can only go to a nine. Yeah. It's 
Look at Badger. These will all look amazing. You know it will. You have to. You have to trust in the process of it all. Right. I am going to slightly lighten. Well done. That one funky line there because I'm going to emboss now I need to put something underneath this I need to learn my lesson I think Hey Dougie did a different one as well he, he, they did the rave version of the stick song yeah it's Stick, stick, sticky, stick, sticky, sticky, stick, stick. I need to rub out a little bit of his face. Sorry, Edgy. I've just got to... Um... Yeah, I think so, just to get a bit more but I'm not I'm not being overly careful with it. I'm sort of like going up and down and back and forth with it just to give the idea of um fur. Start from the nose, well from the from the darkest part of the nose up over his eye. Just had a notification that my parcel's arriving. I only had the delivery today, and that's when I sold out of pumpkins. And I didn't order any more pumpkins because I ordered 30. And I thought, oh, 30 pumpkins is more than enough because we've never sold these before. Turns out people want pumpkins. Well, yeah. Not for now. <laughs> And also, there's a lot of kids off. Yeah, there's a lot off with colds and stuff, but a lot, of, um, a lot of places, a lot of schools are saying they can't come back if they've got even vague symptoms unless they can get tested. I've seen it all over social media. Nobody can get any tests. There are no tests available, so they they can't actually get any tests. <laughs> yeah, interestingly, they were sending everybody from Manchester to Telford and everybody from Telford to Manchester, and there's still no tests there. The queues are huge, absolutely huge. Aylesbury. There's, yeah, there's, there, that might not be that. It doesn't necessarily mean you can get a test in Aylesbury, but just that there's a testing centre in Aylesbury.
this along the fraction. Oh my god. Well, you can actually see my lines. I'm doing everywhere. I'm going mad for it now. I'm doing it. I have to have some mystery. Can't give it you all for a fiver, blimey. Just using my smudgy stick before you tell me off. It's just so you can see the lines and I can start tinting, tinting the little air jog. There's a story, I've got a story about hedgehogs after Sandra's finished. No, I've done his, I've, yeah, because I've, I've, you've got to just go up and down. It, it's more of a scribble. We, we haven't got the time to do individual hairs, so do it as a, no, just, just the, just the, look, hang on, look, just this bit here. Nick, prob Nick probably has, because Nick, Nick, Nick just goes gung-ho with everything. I've, yeah, I've just done the long haired bit. I haven't done the, I just haven't done the, the spikes, but I have done his head, shoulders, knees and toes. Yes, oh yes. So yeah, when Jackie met my mum for the first time, obviously Jackie's a Geordie and my mum was extremely broad black country and and she was chatting away, my mum and Jackie at my mum's flat and um, you know, talking about crafts because they're both crafty and arty and mum was telling her about the things she used to make and sell a long time ago in in the card shop birthdays and um, all of this kind of business oh and Jackie was having a whale of a time and on the way home um, Jackie turned to me and said I've just got one question because I couldn't really understand most of what your mum was saying what are air jugs and I said pardon she said what are air jugs she said your mum said she used to make air jugs and sell them. Did she do it out of clay or what? I said, no, hedgehogs. She used to make hedgehogs out of teasels and sell them, make brides and grooms and things. And she went, oh, that makes far more sense than what I was thinking about. Um, 
she thought my mum was making some sort of weird jug and and I've no idea what was going on in Jackie's mind but it's because she hadn't got a clue what mum was saying and she was too polite to ask mind you if she had to ask my mum probably would have gone even more broad just 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 for fun oh now he's looking a little bit more hedgehog like and I can go in and darken a few bits of these with my 7B We're nearly an hour into this. I oh, know the feeling I have here. Yeah, it always needs a bit of colour. A little bit of colour makes all the difference in the world. We're getting the 9B out later. I think so. I think it's time. Imagine having to do this with paint next week. There. Yeah. I do say that every week, I know. And I'm right every week. Should be gorillas in the mist, not hedgehogs. Oh, really? Hello Victoria. This is quite fun. You need an embossing tool. Hello, I'm a little hedgehog. Soon time for tea. Now I made a big pot of tea not long before class. On the premise that it should still be hot enough for me to pour another cup. Oh. My battery will burn out. Let's see if I can. That's me. I was just doing a few bits of highlighting. Because the way I'm having to sit, it looks totally different from where I am to what you're seeing on the camera. So I, I'm having to twist my head because I'm not actually skillful enough yet. I'm still learning how to paint and draw. Um, to only draw from watching the screen. Because it looks totally different in 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 real life. Yeah, extra bit of paper, really useful tool. Yeah, that's true. Hello, little hedgehog. How are you? Well, I feel I can do. I feel do worms today. No, that was a hedgehog. A badger is very. A badger is very rough like that. That's a badger. And a fox. Oh, he sounds like this. A fox does. Oh, hello. I do like a nice chicken. 
Fox is Leslie Phillips. That's what a fox is. Ding dong, Mrs. Fox. We've found a chicken. Um... Da, 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 da. That's not bad. Now let me if I can I can't do this skillfully. Maybe. Now if I can move this out of the way, I can get back to camera one. Oh no, I haven't been smooth and seamless. That's looking a bit edgyish, isn't it? Because that's got to be really dark underneath him. You know when you make a decision to leave primary education because you think it'll be much better for teaching adults and then you regret it and you think it's exactly the same. But then we couldn't, we, she came back out again, we tried to lock the door. Nick, of course, I'm far too professional to insult anybody. To your face. Right, so, I always make sure the microphones are turned up when I want to talk about any of you. I've never looked my age, I've always looked 45. I'm hoping that when I am over 45, I'll still look 45. My aunt is, actually. She's always looked old. And now she is old. It's good. Hello, Auntie Rosemary, if you're watching. No, not you. I have got an Auntie Rosemary. We call her Ro, though. Ro. Auntie Ro. Jackie used to get ID'd all the time. I never got ID'd even when I should have been.
Right now it's oh, it's a couple of minutes to um, coffee time, so I think we'll have coffee time now. Why? Give it time. He was facing the other way though, wasn't he? So sometimes that makes a difference, you know. I, I find, and personally because I'm right-handed, now I don't know if this happens to all of you right-handers, I prefer things facing the other way than we've got him. I will draw faces and I will draw animals all facing, looking towards the left-hand side. I, what's that? You can, but I like to challenge you all because I know most of you all feel exactly the same, you see. Um, and I'm evil. So I, I find it much, much harder to draw um, an animal or human or object in the other direction. Um, this direction, in fact. Um, I, I find it much easier to draw it the other way. And that hedgehog that we did in the drawing class last year... No this year what what year is it oh when did we do that hedgehog maybe it was earlier this year Bef was it during lockdown or before lockdown yeah i've done uh, oh i don't know but anyway we did a hedgehog but it was facing the other direction um You'll, you'll find that most of the animals that you see me do face, um, unless I get commissions and I have to do them in a different order. Um, so I do like to challenge myself because I, I really do find it hard. Um, but I don't know if it's a right-handed versus a left-handed. Christine, what are you? Are you left or right-handed? <laughs> See, that means left-handed where I'm from. Or taggy-handed. Right. I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'll be back in a minute. No biscuits, though. I can't open them. Because Jackie's left me biscuits for us to have tomorrow. And they're all um, still sealed, so I can't even break into it. In the cool and the warmth of the sun. Ooh. Ah. So if you are right, do you prefer your animals facing or anything? Maybe you don't know and you haven't thought about it. Um, the directional thing. I'll plug my ear back in. I'm back. I bet Nick isn't yet, is he? Oh, haven't you gone? I've been and gone and come back now. Blimey. I'm like Speedy Gonzales, me. You're it. Is, is he neglecting you, Rosemary? <laughs> oh, 
I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just doing little, little marks, which are the tips of the the needles. I've gone, I've gone for a slightly broader one. I'll just press down a bit harder. Well, I've only got one, but I've got double ended. Yeah, or a double ended one. I think we've got I think we've got some double ended ones in. I've got, I might have to get some more. I forget I forget that we sell things in because we're a shop. Oh bird song, bird song's finished. Oh good answer, Christine. Christine hasn't thought about it because she just follows me. I like that answer. Yeah, well, I'm doing wherever there's cream tips to the spine, which is actually all over. There's a lot more, a lot more than you think, isn't there? Yeah, little short strokes will work. Nope. They do not indeed. They're sort of all over the shop. No, it's a bit muggy. It's muggy. It was, I was supposed to get up to 30 today. I turned my fan on. I've had, I've had the fan over my head most of the day, but I've been, um, I can't tell you what I've been doing because you can, you'll be able to see. It's supposed to be a surprise for later, not today. Oh yeah, I've been doing that, but then afterwards, I've been doing other things. I'll explain what I've been doing. Yeah, no, I've, I've yeah, absolutely. Yeah, she messaged me, and I said, I ain't got a clue. I don't know. But, yeah, I've I've been glued to a computer screen. I still haven't finished the art history, but I took a break from doing that to actually start a um, ready for when we launch our January to July, January to June classes. I've now done all of the online classes, but you can't book them yet on Shop Happy. Um, for January to June. That take a while, should we say. It's taken me three days in total. Nope. No, I mean I've done I've done my booklets. These are the booklets. Look, we've got the booklets which will be ready soon. Um but um to actually put them all on it's actually it's quicker for me to type it than it is to copy and paste it all yeah mm. no the way that the online shop set up you have to do everything individually so um Uh, no, I, uh, I, I mean, I've got the same template for my class books. The booklets are fine. I can, I can do those quickly. But the, the online shop is a different ball game. Um, it is uh, a really uh, frustration at the moment. But I know it's because they're not actually geared up to do art classes. Or you know, the, the, the sort of thing that we do. They're not geared up yet. Um, so. Uh, I have to do the way that I have to do it just to get by but um, yeah it's it's mainly for, for for shops who actually just only sell products um, maybe maybe one-off products and things but then we've come along and said actually we don't just sell one-off products and by the way we've got like 
a tube of paint that comes in the same size and the same price but there's like 20 different colors how does that work and they've gone oh really and i've gone yeah and also we do classes we'll do them like this we can't do them like this because we do over 40 classes a month over 10 different groups oh yeah yeah they're yeah different series yeah prices with yeah different the same paint but different prices as well as the ones that are the same paint but the same prices but different colors oh and then we've got about three million paintbrushes all of which will be the same price will all be different prices and different sizes and different types of brush oh and different makes oh well good luck with that thank you very much No, because I like to see you suffer. Really, if you loved your rosemary, you'd stand on the door and keep opening and shutting it and wafting it like the children in the Victorian mines to keep the draft going through. <laughs> Oh, with ostrich feathers and ostrich as a fan and peel grapes. I'm just not doing anything. I'm having I'm on strike. So yeah, as well as a famous TV advert that I'm on now, I had a message on Instagram from a person that randomly follows me. I think I've just seen you on telly. It's like yeah, yeah, that's me. Do you want an autograph or or, or what? But um, no, the other thing is. Um, but there's yet another thing that's happening, um, but I'm, I'm, st I'm still awaiting the date for that. It's, uh, it's amazing. I just need it to have, uh, I need some money now. Good. Good, yeah, just, there is a lot of cream points to, to put in. I, I don't know if I've got enough, and I've probably got gaps, because I can't, I can't see. Oh, uh, you have to make his body a bit bigger. Maybe. You could just have like a, a big head. They do. I mean, in relation to the whole body, especially here, because he's 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 sort of balled up. He isn't long and flat.
Right, so I'm going to use, um, for speed, I'm going to use my 9B graphite stick. And I'm just going to... Well... Yeah, random. Random is best. So I'm just gently rubbing my stick. No. Oh, I bet they do. I bet they had a good old board meeting about that one. Right, and now I'm going with my smudgy stick over the top. And hopefully... Da, 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 da. Well, I, I did more little lines than Vs, but it doesn't really matter. Nothing really matters. Any point will do. It will look like a hedgehog to you. No, because you know what it is. Nobody else will know. Da da de da da da. De da 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 de. Yeah, because I've got a Bo Norton Discord server as well now, because just in case Facebook pulls the plug on live streams, which we've got a bit of grace because it's supposed to be the 1st of October, but it's not happening. Um, so I set up a Bo Norton Discord. Um, well, I think so. Um, so I haven't put you in the server yet, Nick, because you haven't asked. I'm not offended. It's okay. I understand, I understand you, I understand you've been busy, so you know, that's okay, if that, that's your choice, I won't hold it against you, <laughs> is one of them you or off? <laughs> You don't. I bet you've had nobody to take the Mickey out of at work because they're all wise to you. Are they not really? Do you know? I think I need a bigger bottom. Look! Look at my hedgehog. As do I need? Do I need? Do I need it out more here? Or is it? Does it look all right? I. It, I, I are we talking about the bottom or the hedgehog? Yeah, they're all. It's in. To, it's in. Absolutely. Yeah.
losing. That would imply you had to have it in the first place. Wallpaper. Well, anaglypta is the one where it's like fancy. You don't like the classroom ceiling? You probably won't have looked because you didn't know there was a photocopy and you sat right in front of that for nearly a year. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but you, you, you literally, like, you faced the photocopier. You were four inches away from it for four months. Oh, you didn't know. But did you have you ever seen the, the classroom ceiling that's like got a pattern and it's raised? That's so. So that's anaglypta. But wood chip was what everybody had in their houses, and it was you. It was too hard to get off, so you just kept coating it and coating it and coating it. Yeah. Yeah, I like wood chip. I think it's coming back. Wood chip. I did, I found it easier because um, it covers a larger area. I use the 9B, believe it or not, because it's, it's much darker than anything else on there. That's the plan. Oh, nice, like plaster work, was it? Yeah, over here we had polystyrene that did the same thing. Cornices and coving and tiles. Our whole kitchen had polystyrene tiles in. And I mean, that was in the 70s and 80s. I mean, if we'd have had a fire, the whole place would have gone up. And, and did it go up? Yeah, awful. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the fire, you, you still can get polystyrene tiles and cornices and coving, but they're fireproof now, aren't they? They're fire retardant. Well, but also, you know, um, garage roofs and, um, you know, these, these self, self, self uh, built um, prefab. Fences and garages are all asbestos sheets, aren't they? Do you know what? I need a, I'm going to get my old biro lid out as well now. Because it's a bit neglected. Because what I'm going to do, before I do the really dark behind, underneath the... Um, oh, God, I need to call it a giraffe. For goodness sake. The hedgehog. I'm doing some thicker, grassy... Points. Oh, you should know by now, Sandra. It a big biro lid is the is the thing of choice. I I I did. Uh, I used to work with somebody like that. She was called Joyce. Back in the days of retail when the lady staff had tabards, her tabard sank a, a good three inches lower than everybody else's because it was full of everybody's pens. Because she'd come to you, get your till and, and write something down and then put your pen in her pocket. So you have to say, Joycey, have you got a pen? Yes, I have. Yes, I know you have because you've got everybody's.
I told you about that lad I used to teach in classes, didn't I? So, I've, I've, yeah, you can see, look, roughly where I've used the biro lid. I don't want it bright, bright white, but um, it just really gives a bit of depth and and uh, brings it out so yeah obviously when i was um, working in primary education i was um a teaching assistant and uh, as well as teaching art and re i had to work with the um the sen children and uh, it involved having meetings with parents and that kind of thing and um i won't name the boy even though he's probably 30 now um not that he'd mind anyway um <laughs> we'll just call him Lee because 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 that because that was his name um and uh, he came to school one day in humongous glasses i mean they were like bigger than his head and he and we said oh what's what's going on here then and he said oh i've got to wear glasses now oh okay so um we said right we'll move your desk towards the front and um you know how how is your vision there i'm sorry right. bit blue okay so we'll enlarge your work for you so you can see a bit easier got to say it's a bit of a surprise we didn't we didn't know you were going to the opticians yeah okay so you know we then come in the next day with this gla without the glasses lee where are your glasses can you put your glasses on please okay and then he'd sit at the back. No, Lee, you need to sit at the front because you can't really see. Okay. And then, um, so there I was, enforcing his glasses. Then two weeks later, I had a meeting with his mum. And I said, oh, so we've uh, we've uh, accommodated and moved him and his work's, you know, not bad. And, uh, and we've changed his, his seat and position and whatever because of his glasses. And um, she did. She turned around and she said, what do you mean, his glasses? And I said, the glasses he's wearing every day that we're making him wear, because he said he has to. And she went, she doesn't need any glasses. What what glasses are they? So I went into the classroom and I said, Lee, can I have your glasses, please? And he handed them in. She went, oh, they're mine. I've been looking at them for, for weeks. I don't know where they... We thought they'd been lost in the car or something. So he, he, one morning, he picked up his mum's glasses and decided to wear them to school. And then the lie became that big, and there I was, forcing him to wear them in every lesson. No, we wouldn't have been able to see at all, fortunately. His work was... Well, to be honest, he was a little he was a little monkey anyway. and Because he, he couldn't see, obviously. And none of us thought that there wouldn't be glasses, because why would a boy wear massive glasses that are his mother's anyway? Um... But yeah, that was that was that was a really interesting time. Yeah. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Oh, well, we've all done that, Sandra. But uh, <laughs> absolutely. So I'm using my smudgy stick just to give me a, a hint of, um, grass I'm going to go around these leaves a little bit maybe do a little good hmm
So I've left the leaves because we can. You, it's easy to forget how to draw. Every, everything's like that, though, isn't it? I think. Um, I need to put some fake points on the edge of the hedgehog. The hedgehog. Um, because obviously we've got white paper. And I have no intention of filling it all in. Too bad. That's what we want. We want we want legs to disappear. So you can see I've left out the leaf shapes. So I might do a bit of embossing to get the leaf veins. And then actually, if I use my smudgy stick, even though there's hardly anything on it, I can tint the leaves so when I use the embosser on it, it's not bright white. And then I can go a bit darker around it and whatnot. We've got half an hour left. This is good going. I was going to say what we're doing next week, but basically it's this, but in paint, isn't it? Wednesday tomorrow already. Mind you, I haven't I haven't had a day off this week because I was teaching on Sunday as well. So um, tomorrow is an old boat on the beach. You might love it. I don't know what I don't know what image it is yet. I I always wait until the morning. And then as soon as I get in, my first job is to find, find it. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning away here. Yeah, I think I'm going to have some cornflakes when I get in. I've talked myself into it. I might drizzle a bit of honey over it. Mm. And maybe I'll use no because it's warm outside, so I'll use cold milk. Sometimes I will put the put the milk on and put it in the microwave. I love hot milk and soggy cornflakes. Especially, especially, especially um, hot milk and crunchy nuts. Oh. Um. Is is it's probably the um. The the shading because I mean he does actually have a lighter a lighter area. Um, maybe lighten the dark a bit over his snout a little bit. But 
but they are dark though, aren't they? That's the thing. Hmm. So you either need to darken the whole of the beige bit of the hedgehog. Yeah, it will stand out more. So I need to tint my leaves, which I'll probably do with the 7B. I like it if we can just use just a couple of... I've embossed the... Oh, no. No, I haven't. I haven't. I thought I had. But I haven't even touched the leaves. I've just tinted them and then uh, did nothing about it. So thank you for reminding me, Sandra. I was just testing you all. I've got the old biro lid back out again. Well, clearly your observation skills are A1 today. We should first class back in how long? Yeah, a fortnight's a long time. But you were dipping in and out before then though, weren't you? So it's not you've not had sustained art education for uh, nearly a month. I, I didn't actually see I'm going to leave my um, the texture on these leaves um, I, I I didn't even it was quite warm this morning as I was traveling in I, I when I'm up in the classroom and I've got the fan on me head I don't I don't really know what's going on story of my life really. Um, yeah. Leaves, yes. Don't say that, Sandra, because I'll hate you. Yeah. Well... Nobody will know. So if it does look like a badger, just say it's a badger. I won't tell anyone. I will. Hmm. Ah. So I'm not adding much texture. So some I'm doing lighter, some I'm doing darker.
Oh, you've done him already? Oh, blimey. Wait, with this, it'd be nice to have you. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let me see if I can fiddle with camera two. You can kind of see what I've been doing with the leaves. I'm sure it will. It's been nice to have you with us. I said the same to um, Sarah the other day when she was in the class. I said, oh, it's really nice. Yeah, we've had, we've had quite a few that have had to abandon us for work or grandchildren duties and all of that kind of thing. I haven't put his dark whiskers on this side. I view um, drawing in exactly the same way as I do uh, watercolours actually because it's exactly the same process in that you have to wait until the darks are in before you can really judge how well it has or hasn't gone. Um, I might just go a little bit darker around here. Um, because you've got to wait for the the colours to, you know, you've got the tone to put in. You, you, you start off light, gradually get dark, which is fine. But then it's when the really dark bits start to come in, that that's when I feel as a painting or drawing or sketch. I'm more of a sketcher than a drawer because my pictures are, are a bit more illustrative, I feel. They're not um, a drawing to me, personally, is something that's a lot more detailed and realistic or photographic, whereas a, a sketch is a bit lighter. It's more of an idea. It's a bit more loose and free. Do, do, do. There we go. I kind of enjoyed that. Where did you, did you say you put him in the, the Discord one, Nick? Oh, that's nice, Nick. No, it isn't great at changing, though, because I can't do it. I, You know, if I have to look at one thing, I can't get out of it and...
You see, I'm alright because I've got two smartphones here, so I'm listening to you with my old one. But we've got my other one I can dip in and because I'm not signed into the group because where you're sharing the pictures is in a different category I, I can view the pictures from my other phone but if I went to log into this group then I'd lose the sound on the other one I like that oh Yeah, so I'll play it later or Facebook will um, turn my sound off. Yes, and Discord. I like, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying this Christine I do enjoy I mean there are there are some bigger changes next year with the classes I can tell you about that um, I'm, I'm, I've changed a lot now we're doing a lot online um, you'll be pleased to know that the Monday and Tuesday evening classes are going to continue um, but I have stopped all other evening classes because now we're doing them online if somebody can't join live it doesn't mean that they can't join in at all do you know what i mean um so so you know on on the thursday evening classes for both the art history and the uh, watercolor it, sometimes it's only me and one or two other persons now it, it, it's not great for me to spend 13 hours in a in in the shop just for a tenner I mean, yes, more people might join later, but they might join later. It doesn't matter what. So um, from next year, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly tell you because it's a few minutes. So from next year, we'll still have the Monday morning, which may or may not be at Great Borton, depending on um, if we can get enough people at the village hall or if we can still meet. Technically, we can meet in more than groups of six because it's a business. But I find that's that's really pushing it to a a boundary, isn't it? Because obviously in the classroom I could reopen the classroom because I'm a business and I will have less than six from different households because there'll be about five in the classroom but I think that's pushing it um, but anyway so there'll be Monday morning demonstration there will be the Monday evening watercolour so there will be the Tuesday afternoon acrylics which is still fortnightly now what I'm doing is I've tweaked the Tuesday afternoon acrylic dates and the Tuesday evening drawn to acrylic dates so what it means is you could do acrylics every week because you could go to the Tuesday afternoon acrylic one week and the Tuesday evening acrylic the next week. Um, so the Tuesday evening class starts later. There is a six week gap between March and April where I may be teaching an art history course on a Tuesday evening in Byfield. The Wednesday lunchtime class is available but not online. So that depends if the class is going ahead. And the Wednesday drawing class is still weekly. Now, the Thursday morning art for the anxious is going ahead, but I have combined the Thursday evening monthly watercolour class with that. So um, the Thursday morning class is more simplistic in that the first Thursday of every month is drawing. The second Thursday of every month is watercolour. The third Thursday of every month is acrylics. And then the fourth Thursday is either gouache or pastels or charcoal or pen or something like that. Um, the Thursday afternoon will continue. Friday morning is instead of the Thursday evening art history. So once a month on a Friday morning will be a two hour rather than an hour and a half um, art history lecture. 
the Friday afternoons are the same. The Saturday calligraphy is the same, um, which is every other uh, the second Saturday of the month. The demos will be the same. Um, and there will be two free paint-along classes on a Saturday morning. And there will be three full-day classes, which are also going to be available online. The Sunday monthly classes will be the same. Now, instead of a Wednesday evening arty party, on some of the Sundays where I'm already teaching in the morning, I will stay here and um, I think, yeah, for all of them, I will be doing a 2.30 till 5.30 class for £35, all materials including, plus Prosecco, plus afternoon tea. So it will be scones and cream and jam and maybe a, a sandwich or two possibly or it would probably be scones and jam to be honest because it's starting at 2.30 so it's after lunch um, and tea or Prosecco or both and that will be instead of an arty party so they will be fun mixed media so in January it will be an old elephant in mixed media in February it's on Valentine's Day and that will be a calligraphy love heart on the 14th of March that's Mother's Day, so that will be an air-drying clay rose bowl. On April the 11th, it's a Hawaiian sunset in acrylics. On May the 9th, it's a snowy mountain in acrylics using a knife. And on June the 20th, it's a Father's Day special, which is a seascape at sunset. So uh, it's uh, it's more of a closed thing, um, and that may be in the cafe or it may be up here because they're not going to be online, so it doesn't matter. So that's the change. So the arty party that used to be on a Wednesday evening is now on a Sunday afternoon. Um, the Thursday evening monthly watercolour is now combined with the Art for the Anxious. You see, because the art, the evening watercolour class for beginners has been going for over a year now, well, really, those people could move on to a Monday evening if they can only do evening, you know? Or they can join in because they're all going to be recorded. Um... um which discord what for what when i do the art history yeah i do it on discord um and i'm doing it on fun. now but i won't be next year yeah so the thursday evening art history class is on discord and the friday morning art history courses are on discord but from next year i'm combining the two to be once a month on a friday one are you thinking of once a month i i only do i do i do a monday yeah i do a, a monday evening watercolor class every week of the, um every week i do a tuesday evening at drawn for drawn to acrylics then once a month i used to do the arty party on a wednesday once a month i used to do the art society on a thursday once a month i used to do art history on a thursday once a month I do um, watercolours on a Thursday. So basically, it's nearly every Monday, every Tuesday, and every Thursday evening, as well as six days a week. So what I'm having to do is just go, hang on a minute, I can't do that. I can't sustain that. So I'm going to do Mondays and Tuesdays evenings, and then um, teach if, all day if necessary, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and, some, uh, and one Sunday a month. Um, so it means that I have... Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday evenings free. Um, or I might have to do gigs or something, you see. So it, uh, it works out all right in the end. But I'm having to sort of look at my time. And uh, and now they're all recorded. I, there's not the same pressure for me to have to teach all hours, which is wonderful. It's like the, the metallic class that we did this month. Um, the metallic brass jug, which I absolutely love doing. Um, I think there was only two people that joined live, but we've had like four or five people join since after seeing what we've done in the lesson. So it's... Oh, I, I love it. I'm, I'm framing that. I'm going to get it framed and I'm going to keep it myself because I really, really love that picture. I really do. Um, They have, and, and it is just all about building up the layers. So it's a really interesting lesson. If you if you haven't done it and you've got a spare fiver, you can um, request to join the Thursday evening group and do that one because it's the last one. 
So I hope you've enjoyed tonight. So it's going to be very different when we do the um, do the painting of the hedgehog next week. Because um, obviously we're going to build it up in a different way. If I was going to do it in watercolour, it would be in a different way. And if I was going to do it in gouache, I'd do it in a different way. Um, so it's quite interesting. I haven't quite got him right, I don't think. I'm, my, I think my nose is too wide, to be honest, on this. I don't... I think I think the, the bottom of the nose is too wide on mine. It doesn't come to a point as much. Or there's something not quite right. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so, uh, well, there's no pressure to ever, ever um, post it on the, of the day. Um, so coming up this week, tomorrow is a, an old boat on a beach in uh, pencil. Thursday morning is a bird in biro. Thursday afternoon is sunrise scene, which you'll be doing on a Monday night. Um, Thursday evening is a talk on surrealism. Friday morning is the last week on women artists. Friday afternoon is the moonlit scene with the two uh, hot air balloons. Nothing on Saturday, nothing on Sunday. Monday morning's demo is uh, Lake District and Heathers in Acrylics, how to get texture in the foreground. And then Monday evening is the sunrise. And next Tuesday is Acrylics, which is a sunset with an elephant silhouette. And then we've got our little hedgehog in Acrylics. So that'll be quite fun next week. Lots of browns and creams. Thank you, Christine. Um... Yes, you did. You missed, and and the the dis the Discord ones aren't recorded, are they? Because I don't know how to do that. Um, so yeah, I yeah. Is there a way to record on Discord? I bet there isn't. Is there? What and share the screen on OBS? But I, how could I do that with a PowerPoint presentation? What with OBS, really? Oh. Okay. I'll have to have a look at that. I haven't got a clue. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I'm, so I'm going to do them both actually on this. I, so I'll be doing Discord and Facebook just to see what they're like. I'll, I'll, I won't do the same at the same time. I will either do a Facebook one or a Discord one. Um, so uh, yeah, quite good. Right, so that's me done for the evening. Um, I've enjoyed that little hedgehog. It's nice to have you join us, Rosemary. And you, Nick, nice to have you back. Yes, so I'll see you all. I know I'll see some of you at the drawing class tomorrow, won't I? And it will be fun, Rosemary. Hmm. What, Monday night? Oh. It's a, nice sun, it's a nice sunset to get you back into it, though, on Monday, so that's good. Right, thank you very much, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.